Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos and time for my end of week chat with you guys. And yeah, so it's January the 20th of 2018 and yeah, it's pretty much just been cold. That's, that's been the, the weekend review right there. It's just cold. <laughs> so, um, we had rain which turned to sleet and froze everything over and we had big sheets of ice on everything and then we had snow on top of that and so it has just been like below 20 degrees fahrenheit like like for a week i think i don't know it's, it's uh just staying down there so today it finally warmed up and it's supposed to be warm for a few days at least and we're gonna get rain again on monday i think so um about half my snow and ice is melted off today, so I'm kind of happy about that. Um, I did have one um, cold weather related catastrophe this week, <laughs> which doesn't make me happy, but I can deal with it and, and I can fix it. So I went outside and was going to open my, to open my garage door up and um, I was pushing in the coat. Anyways, it started to go up and it caught and then it like made a horrible noise and then it like it went down and then it jerked itself back up again. And it went up but I stopped it and I was like, I think uh, my door just broke. <laughs> and so, so anyways, it turns out like the door was frozen to the concrete because there's like this line of ice down there. And I didn't even think about that as being a possibility of something that could happen because it never happened to me before. And, um, yeah, so I put the door up. It got, it went up all the way and I looked at it and like one of the rolling things for the, for the panels had jumped out of the track, which wasn't no big deal. We get that back in, but it cracked the, um, the, the, the panel at the top. Um, so these, the, door panels are made out of like a really dense foam covered in metal and up at the top where the mechanism that holds on to it that brings it up and down um it cracked about a two inch crack in the that foam right there it didn't didn't damage the metal but it cracked the foam so anyways i couldn't put the door down because all it wanted to do was just bend in half and it was going to break it even more if I had let it go down all the way and um, so we had to manually put the door down and you know release that the chain thing off of the door opener and um, and then lock it that way anyway so I kind of have a plan on how I'm going to fix it so we're waiting for a little bit warmer weather I get my man over here and he can help me help me fix that <laughs> So, at least the door's down. That's the good news, so. And it didn't completely fall apart, right? Well, now I know that garage doors can freeze to concrete. That That's my lesson this week. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, yeah, and I have another problem going on with my bathroom sink, which I think I've mentioned in a video before because this has been an ongoing thing. The the sink clogs up and I get it unclogged and it clogs up, which is telling me I need to disassemble the pipes underneath and clean out the trap because there's something in there that just doesn't want to get out normal ways. I mean, I put so much Drano down that thing. It ain't, it ain't moving, whatever's in there. And, um, so I've totally been avoiding doing that, but it got even worse the night that my, my door broke. And, and so my man, he's all like, well, maybe the, the drain pipes are freezing up because it's so cold outside. And I was like, well, this, the tub works, the toilet works, the kitchen sink works and the bathroom sink is the furthest into the house. I was like, I don't think it's frozen. So, cause it drains a little bit too. Anyways. I gotta, I, I've best been avoiding fixing that because I'm gonna have to take it apart and I don't want to do that. It's gonna be messy. But I'll have to do that soon because I can't take this clogging thing anymore. <laughs> oh, well, anyways. So, I got that to do. I did a lot of shopping at Rite Aid this week. Well, not as much as normal because it was cold and I just didn't feel like shopping a lot. And I didn't go many other places. I did make eight Rite Aid videos this week and one CVS. So I did get the CVS on Sunday and, um, did a little bit there. So, um, yeah, 
that and I just didn't feel like going out and doing any anything really this week it wasn't wasn't worth getting out in the cold for I guess <laughs> so um yeah um something else this week did you guys hear because this I don't know how long this app's been out this um Google Arts and Culture app um and so they have it so you can take a picture of yourself and then it compares you to works of art that they've done facial recognition on the art. Um, so anyways, I, I got the app and I did it. I've been making people do it, so it was pretty funny. Actually, I have made my man do it too. <laughs> so maybe because I told him, I said, people keep wanting to see you in a video and meet you. And I said, let's do this and I'll find a picture you know, let Google find a, a, a piece of art of a picture of somebody who looks like you and then I could show everybody. And it's really funny because I really don't think any of the people that it picked, like, look like him all that much, which is totally funny to me. So, um, anyways, at the end of the video, I'll tag on the pictures that it, it matched me to so you can see them. And I'll, I'm not going to put his picture up, but I'm going to put a picture up that, that it said that he looks like okay and he kind of looks like but this guy's got this like this big old mustache thing going on and it's kind of funny actually um yeah so um I'll, I'll tag that at the end of the video <laughs> anyways and you could kind of see what my man looks like then right um yeah it's a it's a really fun app and and the funny thing about it is is everybody else that i have seen do it because i made several people at work do it and um, and I've seen other people doing it and I think they really look like the people that it matches them up with, but then by man, it just, it just really didn't do it a very good job. So I think I need to try it again with him. Maybe it'll match with some, match him to a different picture. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'll tag those and you guys can see it. Um, I guess the only other thing I want to talk about, I have a housewarming party to go to and I'm giving them a bottle of Tide because that's my standard housewarming uh, gift I give, which people seem to like because nobody's ever given it back and said, I can't use this. So <laughs> anyways, all right, I got to go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.